Hello, hello, hello. Uh, let me check in with the third part, uh, the third and penultimate part of There, There by uh, Tommy Orange, where we're following following a variety of characters through their lives. Um, we have uh, started, ended, did it? No, it ended off with uh, this guy who's a custodian, janitor, who um, he drinks and uh what can i say about him everything is done in the uh, second person for him so you you do this you do that uh he 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 drinks and he uh, goes and when he goes into work the next day he's still he's still he's still under the influence he uh, and they can smell it and i guess uh there's a bat in the powwow committee's um power out committees thing and he chases the bat out they follow him out and watch him as he grabs the bat and really what he should have done is tossed it into a garbage bag and taken it outside uh instead he basically dashes the brains out of the thing out of the the creature in front of everybody uh and thus gets fired um and uh he's a part of the drumming group that is actually going to go to the powwow so we're, we're we're sort of i get the sense that it's like okay here's somebody who's a potential victim someone who's going to be a potentially part of this final scene of uh the powwow getting robbed uh by these young native guys uh well some of them are young native guys others of them are uh just sort of are not just are kind of other people outside of the community who've, who've spotted an opportunity here um and uh, yeah, you, you you do get the sense that that's probably why he he his story is included. I mean, it's also included because I mean he does talk about kind of the importance of drumming to him, how it kind of actually just kind of it does does give him something in his life, uh, a kind of a resonance, <laughs> drumming resonance. Um, also talking about him that that the guy who's the leading the drum group and kind of said you should you should join this says like, yeah, you need to sing as well. And it's like, well, I don't want to sing. And it's like, I've got a, this bass baritone voice. It's like, no, you, no one's going to hear it over the drum. And he says, no, it's the, the drum is a closed, is, is a closed voice. Your, uh, um, people's voices are open, which was, uh, an interesting, an interesting thing. Um, we get, uh, the, um, we get the, uh, one the kid who who's kind of this is is like you get the sense is he's the smart kid who's ended up having to because his brother has ended up in jail and his mother's lost her job out of grief for that has had to kind of turn to doing to um, selling stuff to criminals uh, using a three D printer printing out guns plastic guns which aren't detectable uh, through metal detectors. Uh, so very handy that way if you're a criminal and indeed are going to get used apparently in the powwow thing. Um, he is the, he is the operator of the drone that we've seen earlier buzzing, uh, the older custodian guy who, uh, works at, at the stadium where the powwow is going to take place. Uh, he, he fl flies the drone out there to kind of, he just wants to see wh where it's going to get, go down, perhaps maybe to have eyes on it when it does. Uh, and, um, yeah, getting chased around by this this older this older the the older guy who works who works there. Uh, so we get that we get that little thing. Uh, we get um, uh, a young woman uh, fleeing an abusive abusive boyfriend uh, on the getting you know uh, getting uh, you know going off getting a lecture a fairly very informative lecture from a friend about how you've got to be careful walking on these highways uh this is like this is where people get disappeared and and saying like oh i read about something like that happening in canada it's like no it's happening everywhere there is a silent war on women it doesn't even say like doesn't say just native women but i mean I, and it is it's a war on women in general um though native women are definitely disproportionately uh at least in canada are a part of uh, of that um are, are targets of uh the killers the the men who are out there uh hunting and killing women uh and uh yeah yeah so it, that that is like it's 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 one of these things of tommy orange is definitely um 
poking in with like, here's a little mini essay here that I needs to be here versus um, maybe in more of a kind of a strictly realist thing. They say like, don't go on the roads. You know that women get snatched on the roads and they would have been left at that. It's like, no, there's a little bit more of an essay, essayist in, in uh, here with the friend, um, which isn't to say it wouldn't happen. It's just you kind of notice that things when it's supposedly a, a fiction, but it's a fiction mixed with uh, the, the uh, other essays that are actual just complete essays in here. Um, so, yeah, it, I mean, we're very much going from person to person to person. It does have a kind of a documentary feel to it. Uh, uh, it's uh, kind of a thing of capturing in a whole area of people. I mean, there's a lot of stuff of like kind of um, maybe it's important to get all the different stories because of, I mean, there's kind of a crime story at the center of this with native people as criminals here. So it's important that you have not just that, but their families and also just other people around them, people who are not, who are not criminal, who are, who are struggling and sometimes failing, but still struggling to, to, um, live their lives. Um, I mean, and you know, alcoholism and stuff like that. There's a lot of, um, st hurtful, st hurtful stereotypes, a lot of hurtful stuff that is, you know, put, put against people who are natives. It's like, Oh, they're all criminals. Oh, they're all alcoholics. It's like, well, there is maybe a higher proportion, but then you have to look at the context of why that might be and why that might be a uh, wider um, white mainstream uh, society's responsibility and a responsibility to, uh, to stop, help, help uh, create conditions that are not going to fuck the uh, more generations and more generations of people up. Um, which isn't to also say that, you know, individual responsibilities and stuff like that. But, you know, it's hard to take individual responsibilities when you have so much bullshit piled up uh, against you. Uh, something like that, where you say anyone, regardless of their, um, their ancestry, if they had had this history, would be in a similar situation now. Um, you know, you know, you, I, I think that's the that's the key thing that hopefully the message getting here. It's like, it's because of the situation that people make the individual choices they make. And you, if you were in this situation, you would be making the same right or wrong decisions, probably most all the wrong decisions. And, you know, uh, in, in, in that thing. So yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is, it's, it's a, it's, um, it's a, what would you call it? You would call it a book that is, um, there's books that are like, okay, this is just sort of the situation. And then there's books that say like, this is a situation that needs to fucking change. And that's definitely this kind of book. Um, yeah, yeah. So they're there by Tommy Orange continuing along part three. And we'll, uh, launch into the final part, part four. And, uh, obviously we're getting all these disparate parts, which are going to unite at this powwow, this, uh, the, you know, the, the, um, the robbing potential robbing of this powwow or how it's going to turn out, who, what, what the damage is going to be. You've got a lot of characters in here that you can now care, you care about on all sides. And it's just really, <laughs> you can see the sadness that might come out of that situation, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. All right, I will leave it there for the moment. More videos later.